Hi everybody. Today I'm going to teach you how to curve your text to match your design. And as you can see here in Procreate, I just have text and it doesn't really look that great. So I'm going to open up Affinity Designer, which is kind of similar to Adobe Illustrator, but I think it's a lot more affordable because you pay a one-time price and you don't have to keep up a subscription. So I'm going to add a photo of the design that I have saved and then I'm going to click on the pen tool. And with that, I am going to tap and drag um, my nodes around the curve that I want it. And I'm just going to do it below this yellow line, right along that yellow and light pink line. I'm just going to make a few nodes and tap and drag. So you don't want to just tap and lift or else you're going to get a sharp node. You want to make sure you have smooth nodes all the way around to get your nice curve. And then after you've placed all your nodes, you can go back around and clean it up just to um, make sure that it fits flush against that line that you want it to be. And I'm going to go ahead and speed up this part um, just because it takes a little bit of time and finagling. Okay, to add text to this curve, you first want to click that A um, on the left hand corner and then click right on the line you just made. And you'll know that your text is along that curve if you see a little green carrot right where you clicked. Um, and just type out whatever you want um, in any font you'd like. And I'm just going to change the color and I'm going to change the size to make it a little bit bigger and more visible. And now that I see that, um, I'm going to make it bigger. I want it to fit basically that entire yellow space. Okay, and remember that green carrot I was talking about earlier? Um, I'm going to grab that and then I'm just going to drag it, not too far, um, I'm going to drag it to where I want it to be on the curve, and that just moves where your starting point is for your text. So wherever you want your text to start, that's where the green carrot is going to be, and you can just move that along your lines. And I actually like to give myself a little bit more room before and after where I think the text is going to be, just so I have the flexibility to move it where I want um, so I have courage over and now the next word I'm going to do is fear, but I'm going to have that be a totally separate line of text. So I'm going to go back to my pen tool and, um, I'm going to tap where I want it and see I tapped and I lifted before I dragged. So I'm going to go back and tap and drag to make a nice curve and I'll clean this up later too but just get the basic shape out. And I'm gonna make it way longer than I need to so I have the flexibility to put that text wherever I want it along this, this line of pink slash yellow. I'm just gonna put it right perfectly against there. And so now I'm done with that and I'm gonna go back to that capital A to add text. And then see, I didn't click on the line here. So what I wanna do, is I'm gonna go back and click right on the line and now I have that green carrot and I'm going to type the word I want. So in this case, the word is fear that we we're going to do. And I'm going to increase the size of this as well. And as you can tell, I'm noticing that those letters are too close together, um, probably because of the curve that we made. So I'm going to go into that little lowercase a and we're going to click positioning. And then I am going to try kerning, but I think it might be tracking. And it is. So we're going to do tracking. So you're going to drag that number. You're going to click and drag that number if you don't care about being too precise um, to increase it. And then I don't need it to be too much. And then we're going to drag it with that green carrot just to make it a little bit farther over. Um, and it's a little bit more readable as courage over fear. And yeah, I think I'm going to have that tracking just to be a little bit more because as you can see that over has some pretty big spacing between those letters. So I want to match that. And then I'm going to move courage over those letters over closer. And then I think you're going to be done. And those are what your letters are going to look like when you match the curve. Ta-da!